Welcome everyone to episode 32 of The Unintentional Journeyman, our second round of playoffs. If you're joining us just for the first time, time we're managing Hampton and Richmond in the Vanarama National League South. We've qualified for the playoffs by finishing in fifth place. We won our first playoff match and now we're on to the semifinals of the Vanarama National League South playoffs up against Maidstone today. The winner will advance to the final. The winner of the final will get promoted to the Vanarama National League. So a lot of stakes and high stakes in this match. Not a lot of time passed between this episode and our last episode. There really isn't much to catch up on. So we're going to jump right into our tactics and let's get this started. We'll kind of just a couple of small things to mention. Our defensive line, basically the same, except if you watch the last episode, you'll remember that Balogun got hurt right towards the end of the game. Where uh, Balogun, he did tear a groin muscle, so he's out for a good month or two months, so done for the season, essentially, with only at most one or two games left for us to play. Uh, if the, the good news of that, if that there's any position where we could afford to lose a player, it is at left back, because both Rhodes and Balogun have alternated that position all year. They play essentially the same, so Rhodes is going to jump in, and hopefully he'll be able to, to fill in Balogun's shoes admirably here. At uh, midfield, Evans is back from his suspension, so he will take over that kind of more heavily defensive slanted role. And in looking at Maidstone's uh, stats for the year, they have three attackers with more than 10 goals, one of them being their left midfielder, the other two being their strikers. And so with that in mind, I've moved Evans over here to our right side to match up against their left midfielder and hopefully put a little bit more uh, defensive pressure on him to help plug up their offense a little bit. Brunt will play at uh, attacking midfielder, although Murray, uh, they play fairly equally. Murray will come in probably late in the game to take over uh, Brunt's role with a little bit of added energy. Uh, Ashley Seal, Kelly, and Lambius are three big attacking options. Andrew did not play well in the last match, but I'm still going to start him today and, and maybe sub in Robinson if he seems to, if Andrew seems to falter at all. Uh, temperature's about 60 degrees. We have not beaten Maidstone all year. We have not scored against them. They've beaten us 2 to nothing, and we drew 0-0 in their stadium. We are playing them away today at, say, 3 o'clock in the afternoon game, and I think... With that in mind, we can jump right into it. Uh, both of us playing inconsistent recently. They finished the year with a draw, a win, and two losses. We uh, we have been kind of being hot and cold ourselves here too. So uh, hopefully we can be hot today and they will be cold. But I think that's about it. Just want to take one last look at our lineups here to make sure I've gotten everything correctly because it is kind of a big match. We're going basically this 4-2-4 and the, the tactics we're using are kind of the tactics that worked the most for us all year, and that have gotten us to this point. So I don't want to switch things up too much and, and be overly fancy here and try something new when this, to a large degree, has been what's worked for us. Let's get right to the uh, dressing room and set some opposing instructions. Ask our assistant. Okay, we're going to do press on their outsides. They are coming at us in their 4-4-2. Wish heart or... Yeah, Wish Art. I'm not sure how you'd say that. Is there a big left mid who scored a lot of goals and got a lot of assists? James and Anthony both have had a lot of success for them offensively too. So uh, they can put the ball in the net here. And I think, oh, team talk. <laughs> that would be, don't want to forget that. Let's go with, um, <clears throat> sorry. Let's go calm. Yeah, we're the underdogs here. Let's take the pressure off a little bit. Yeah, a lot more to come from you. Again, our, what we always basically say, everybody's green, happy, and motivated. Let's start the match. Looks like we're shaking hands here. 60 degrees, partly cloudy. I, they did mention that this was going to be a full house, and looking at the number of people in the stands there, I think they, if I'm not mistaken, there was a news article that said they expected more than 7,000 people here. So this is maybe the, big, the biggest crowd that we've played in front of. We are in the red and black. Uh, they are in the yellow and black stripes. They're getting the first chance on goal here. I'm also looking to switch to that uh, positive note. If you've watched some of our episodes, I generally like to start out balanced. But when we shift to positive, I think we tend to keep the ball in the other team's end more. And so that's worked out uh, pretty well for us. One other, oh, Bailey picks up a yellow card again early with the yellow cards. Not good to get a defensive midfielder I'm sorry defensive back with a red a yellow card so early in the match 
we'll have him ease off tackles and start back up. We did have one kind of interesting semi-glitch here. You'll notice their condition's a little bit better than ours. Uh, our assistant midfielder, Andrew, with the free kick. Ooh, it didn't curve. That one went straight. Uh, our assistant manager had scheduled a hard practice for yesterday. And before I could really change it, I had to kind of come in and uh, make it just into a little bit of a kind of a match walkthrough. So we're a little bit tired from that. I mean, still 90-something. But Lambius in. Oh, what a great chance. Sorry, I'm talking about irrelevant things instead of watching the match here. Andrew in front. Okay, Ashley Seal with some energy picks it up. Plays it to Brunt. Brunt to Evans. Let's see if Brunt Evans can make it through this game. We're out shooting them 3-1 to one early on. Let's go to positive. That has worked for us throughout the year. So again, trying to stick with what works for us. Andrew with an oddly angled free kick. Oh, what a brilliant save. Lambius picks it up. Our throw. We're getting some chances here. Let's see what happens. Okay, Evans doubles it up. Nicely headed to Brunt. Oof, Evans did nothing with it. Oh, wow, a lot of speed there. Nice save. Oh! <laughs> Three shots in a row. Shots fired. And they follow it up with a corner. 25 minutes in, they're putting some pressure on us. Nicely cleared to Andrew. We're dead even. Four shots apiece. This should be a tight match. Uh, you know, we did draw 0-0 the last time we played him and lost 2 to nothing. So, oh, Kelly's struggling there. Oh, that's dangerous. Ooh, Barton gets just enough of the ball. I thought that went through. So positive does not look like it's working all that well for us here. We're doing better on balanced. I'm not sure how meaningful that is, really. Let's, let's leave it. Bailey to Brunt. Again, we have many players with Bs in their name. Brunt to Kelly. Kelly to Ashley Seal. Ashley Seal to Lambius. Oh, off the bar and in. We're up early. I guess it's not even that early. 35 minutes in. Lambius with a blaster from a Ashley Seal's assist. Let's praise them both. Ashley Seal, Lambius. What a shot. Off the post and in, and we're up. In a tightly contested mass, that match bounces the other way. A little bit of luck getting that to go in could be big for us. Let's add another one here. Rhodes to Kelly. Rhodes to Ashley Seal. Kind of playing around. One other thing that I did note, although I, I don't want to lose my train of thought here if we have an interesting highlight. Ashley Seal again to Lambius. Brunt. Oh, feed it to Lambius again. Yep. Lambius going the wrong way. Um, I did notice that the goal scoring, uh, the playoffs count. So Lambius now has 20 goals. He's down by three. So if he were to get exceptionally hot here in these playoffs, ooh, that was a rocket. Exceptionally hot here in the playoffs. He could take the golden boot. I think that's how it works. So he's got one here now. That's 21. Keeping the pressure on here. Okay. Out shooting them by a slim margin. And they've had two clear cut chances though. 38 minutes in. Things quiet down. As we can see, their condition is a little bit better than ours. Hopefully, insignificantly so. Although, they all look about 5% fresher. Zach Brunt picks up a yellow card. Okay. We do have, uh, I think, the third highest uh, yellow card total in the league. And I'm not sure if that's because... I, I watched somewhere that said, Whoa, this looks... Okay, clear it away. Oh, bar. oh my goodness, how did that, they put that in? Barton, pick it up. <laughs> Looks like he was going to drop it and kick it in there for a second. They hit the corner and then shot it right at the goalkeeper from point blank range. Oh, I hope their bad luck stays up. Dead even match. We're just, just one post deflection ahead right now. Look at that. Shots are dead even. They do have one more clear cut chance from us. We've had the better of possession. Corners pretty much even. Fouls pretty much even. This could go either way. It's nice to see us finally score against them. Uh, let's go to the dressing room and talk to the team. I think we should let the team know we appreciate their efforts. I want to guard against complacency. Don't think the job is done. Yes. There's a lot more to come for you. I believe you've got what it takes. Of course I do. All right. Let's do this. But yeah, to complete that thought, um, so Limbius now has 21. He's down by two goals. 
if he were to get hot, I mean, even two more and more would tie two more goals would tie him for the golden boot for this league. If that's even what it's called for a lower level league like this, I'm not quite sure. Second half, tension mounts. It'd be nice to see us get a second one here. I have not, uh, I thought, a, I guess I kind of know what our substitutions might be. John Kelly has made a lot of mistakes today. Hmm. Well, let's see what happens. Does that mean he's going to make Evans? Brunt, shots blocked. Put up. Ashley Seal. What, is he outside? Oh, maybe over and back. Okay, 60 minutes in, time to look at substitutions here. Kelly's struggled, but I still believe in him. Andrew, not doing anything particularly flashy out on the left side. Our defensive backs are starting to get winded, but we don't, I don't want to switch them out. They're playing well. We have a shutout. Hopefully they can hang on. Let's do Robinson for Andrew again, just because Andrew's now had two games in a row where he has not looked particularly sharp out on the right-hand side. Let's get a second goal here. Not as many shots in the second half. We're out shooting them now, picking up some, but no high highlight-worthy shots. It's 70 minutes. Could this be a one-to-nothing game? Oh, nicely headed by Cotton. That was a bold step forward. Oh, nice tackle. It amounts to nothing. This feels dangerous. Okay. Oh, advantage. Is that a... Whoa. Oh, saved. Saved again. Barton coming up big. With 20 minutes to go, let's slow things down just a little bit. Not enough to annoy anybody. But just enough. Do we want to make another tactical? Oh, we have to let them that slow things down, settle in here first. Zach Brunt is tired, even though he's played well. I think it's time to bring in Murray at 75. Barden taking a kick from the odd angle. Okay. Picks it up to Evans, to Brunt. To Ashley Spe Seal in space. Quickly gets closed down. Okay. I don't mind us passing it back and forth. We switch side. Oh, nice to Ashley Seal. Yes! Oh, Ashley Seal with his eighth goal of the season. Unassisted, and we are up two to nothing. Oh, boy, with 17 minutes to go. i got to praise everybody for that one. That was a tough header from Malice, or however you would say it. Right, nicely placed into the right-hand side. We have had better finishing them than so far today. Let's see what we can do here. 15 minutes to go. Brunt's got a yellow card, playing well, but running out of gas. Murray needs some time up here. Let's put Murray in. They're fairly equal and generally both play very, very well. So I'm perfectly comfortable in switching in Murray for Brunt, especially if we can clear that yellow card. Ah, we get another one right away. Let's... Take care of that. Yellow card for Catton on the outside. Ease off tackles, okay. Confirm changes. Got to hold on for 15 minutes and extra time. Wow, we're all clustered in one spot there. Guard these guys on the sides here. Oh, I thought that was going in. Okay, breathe. Take it easy. 79. We're going to go to 80 minutes, and then now let's completely waste time. We will just delay as much as possible. I think I might even bring Keen in just to create a time-wasting substitution. If we're up with a little bit. Ooh, off the bar. Wow, that's twice they've hit wood work. Starting to put pressure on us here. over they they have struggled to finish today i think that's been the only difference they're out shooting us now murray off the post a lot of wood today that's going to be a corner for us great you can slow it down take your time take your time tie your shoe tie your shoe wave to the fans this is a full house isn't it there are fans all over the place evans 
Nice hustle. I love to see it when we get those balls first. If you're with us last year, I mentioned a lot that it always seemed like the other team was gobbling those up. Let's tactically make that change now. Kelly's it's leveled off, but not doing anything exceptional. Let's put Lambius on advanced forward attack. Keen is a target man, support. And that will <clears throat> delay a little bit more. Nice, only three minutes of extra time. Two minutes to go. We've got this. We did it. It's got to be over right here. Blow the whistle. Yes. Wow. Honestly, I, I was not expecting that. I, with our record against them during the year and the fact that we've been, excuse me, kind of hot and cold throughout the season, I thought they were clear favorites and would, would just kind of prove it on the pitch today. The Maidstone football paper says, I predicted a win for Maidstone today and maybe even could have seen Hampton and Richmond holding on to a draw until the 90th minute with a bit of luck, but I certainly didn't see the Beavers prevailing. Pretty much dead even on shots. We outpossessed them a little bit. It was just our finishing today. That was it. Uh, Lambius and Ashley Seal coming up big with two big shots in the first half and second half to put us through. We're still alive. Unexpectedly so. Let's go to the dressing room and talk to people. Again, Paul Driver <laughs> did this in the last match too. I think we should let the team know. Oh, he's last time he said we didn't. We shouldn't say anything special. But let's be passionate here. People had written us off today. Now this one here. That was really special, lads. Nobody gave us a chance, but you played magnificently. Congratulations. Everybody's delighted. Let's make a couple of uh, individual comments here. Just go calmly up to Ashley Seal and say, you did well out there. And Matt Lambius, another outstanding effort. You impressed me out there. Zach Brunt, before he took him off, you did well out there. And all of our defenders and goalkeeper in particular did well enough to, to merit some, some quick individual praise you impress me out there sorry for the delay but this is a big match and eh, that's pretty good let's end the team talk we'll continue on let's see who we've got in the final Whew, it's getting close so oh Borham Wood who went to penalties and won in the last match this time went to penalties against Woking uh, our deadly W's and uh Woking ended up taking them in penalties after a 2-2 two two match. So the final will be us against Woking. We're playing away against them. And that will be coming up in just a few days. So we'll come back for that episode. That brings us to the end today. We're still standing. Two teams left. One will go on for promotion and one will not. I, I'm a little bit surprised to see that we're still standing, especially after the way we played against uh, Maidstone throughout the year. But super happy to be going. So we'll make that a separate episode. Uh, thanks so much for coming by. Hopefully we'll see you at the playoff final. And uh, let's go Beavers.